This is Norman from the Yellow Jacket Expert. I'm going to do a video about carpenter bees. And uh, yeah, you could tell like these people have carpenter bees. One of the ways to tell, instead of looking up, you look down. You can see the sawdust that's there. Here's a good example. See all that sawdust? That's because there's carpenter bees in there. And you could see that a little bit with this hole. Well, actually, the, the carpenter bee's trying to, to uh, make a hole there. Let me find another spot. Ah, oh, here's one. Right, right there. Um, let me see if I get the camera in there a little bit better. Yeah, it's hard to do. I think you get the idea, though, that uh, there are carpenter bees. Let me see if I can get a shot of a carpenter bee flying around. They're all over the place here. Yeah, see all this, here's a good one. Here's, here's some sawdust. And in, up in that railing is uh, some carpenter bees. They look like big bumblebees and I, I just swatted one down. So, let me see if I can find the one I swatted down. You'll see them, they hover, it's like out of Star Wars. And, uh, yeah. Oh, here's some more sawdust. And I'm gonna actually get, get a picture of a uh, carpenter bee flying around. Oh, here's one. Okay. Here's a carpenter bee. This is what they look like. They, and, uh, it's got a yellow face. I think the, the ones with the yellow face are males. But this is um, a great example of a carpenter bee. Um, let's see if I get it right there. They fly, they hover, zzz, but there's nothing to worry about. They're not gonna come and sting you. And um, I take care of these at the Yellow Jacket Expert. And uh, yeah, so I will be right there. So here's a, a bumblebee, I mean a carpenter bee. And uh, he's doing that because the, what I use, I use a resin for uh, carpenter bees. And the resin hits their wings, then they can't fly, and then they die. So the ants will get them. So, you know, some people don't like that, but otherwise they're going to clean up the trim of your house. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what happens when I do carpenter bees. Here's another example of a carpenter bee hovering around its uh, home. The reason I know it's their home because of the sawdust. And it's sawdust because they're chewing the wood and filling it with, with um, pollen and eggs. So yeah, they go low, they go high, they go all over the place. This house actually has a mess of carpenter bees up high as well. Yeah, here's another one, hovering looking. Wants to go in its home, but when it does, it'll get my resin on its wings and it'll get eaten up by ants. But that's what it's doing, it's hovering. When you see them hovering, it's the males. Let's see if you can see them there. It's the males basically protecting their territory. There's one. And uh, so when other males come into the area, they chase it away. They chase away wasps, everything else. Um, and then, of course, they'll mate and the females will lay the eggs in the holes that they're chewing through. And the whole thing starts all over again. So, yep, I'm the yellow jacket expert. And uh, yeah, give me a call if you got a problem with carpenter bees. If you don't live in or around Connecticut, then um, I do consultations. You could also buy my book, The Yellow Jacket Expert Reveals All His Secrets, um, The Definitive Guide to Organic Stinging Pest Control. And I have a chapter devoted to carpenter bees.